What can they find? Today we'll be... Hey, wait. Why did you have to take it off the towel? Oh, is it manual shoe? Why didn't somebody tell me? <laughs> Welcome to Name 5. Today we'll be showing you Candle Extraction Part 2. Hey, it's Jada. For the extraction, we'll be using a syringe. The fragrance oil you extracted and alcohol for cleaning purposes. This is a GC and mass spec machine we use for shooting the oil on. And it's a company program we use for the process. First things first, we clean the syringe. You got to make sure to clean it thoroughly. To make sure we're extra clean, we do it three times. We will now create a new project and fill in all the information we need. It's off to fill the syringe with the fragrance oil we want to duplicate. This is done three times to ensure the syringe is filled completely with the fragrance. Make sure not to capture any air bubbles. Now we prep the machine. Then we shoot one microliter into the injection port. We're ready to go. This process takes 90 minutes. Once it's done, we pull up the file to make sure the data was registered. Hey, it's Ron, AFI's perfumer. He's reviewing the charts to create the duplication. Formula is created and is ready to be compounded. It's Jada again. We will be using a beaker, a spatula, Raw material, pipe bed, a lot of them, since we could only use them once, <laughs> and some alcohol to make sure everything's clean and sterile. Before we started, we weighed the beaker, so when we're done, we can check our weight. This is a 100 gram formula. We're gonna start off with the crystals. The formula tells you exactly how much or what raw material is needed in order to create the fragrance. Be sure to clean the spatula after every use to avoid contamination. Now we're off to the liquids. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. <laughs> you have to be careful. Just one drop of the one thing can change the whole dynamic of the fragrance. After we're done, you weigh the beaker with all its components. You check the formula by subtracting the original weight of the beaker and to make sure you're at 100 grams. We're at 100. Now it's off to be heated and stirred. Place a magnet into the beaker. Or chuck it in there like Jada just did. <laughs> We're gonna let it sit on the heat at low temperature while it stirs. We're gonna wait until the crystals are dissolved. This process can take up to 30 minutes. Looks like the crystals are dissolved. We're now ready to pour. We use a magnet to hold the magnet stir bar and we carefully pour it into the bottle. Once it's poured into the bottle, we will send it back to the perfumer. It's run again. Now it's time to check the duplication and to make sure it smells amazing. He'll be using a test strip to do this and make sure you close the bottle. You don't want any accidents. <laughs> so Ron, how does it smell? Looks like it passed the test. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and to share this video as well. Remember, we make fragrances for everything.